do you utilize to fund more content so you can bring more people to the product? And what it creates is a system. It creates a flow. But a lot of people don't understand that, right? A lot of people just on here complaining or they just having fun with it or whatever they may doing. You have to understand that social media is not an actual happy app. It's not. It's a very stressful one in comparison to all of the different apps that's actually within the store. It's not one to make you happy. It's a compare analysis, you know, app that actually drives people down and make them a lot more stressful. So when I think about product myself, uh, you know, uh, last year we did, I mean, this, this year we're doing amazingly well. And I'm a great at marketing and I'm great at branding and I'm great at design. But if you out there it, it, it's kind of like having a ball, right? And you're dribbling, you you playing all of the, you playing basketball, but you don't have any goals, right? Meaning that there's no hoops at the end. So all you're doing is y'all playing a good game, running around with each other, dribbling the ball, but there's nowhere to actually shoot it. The product is where you get to take your shot. The product is the reason you're doing all of this training for in the first place. So it funnels people to that actually goal that you have. So when I'm riding around, uh, and I got what consultations, I got the gold water, I got the uh, events that I throw, I have master classes, I have a myriad of, of, of a bunch of different things. But people are always wondering why people don't support them instead of creating a way for people to support them. And I mean it by this as well, because we can often complain about, you know, this person didn't support that. Well, make something else for them to support. Maybe that's not their thing doesn't mean that they broke. It just means that that's not their particular way that they want to support you. So I always figure, why don't you make it easier for people to support you? Like, like for real, you got to think about this. People are, for one, your friends and your family should never be a measurement of who you want to support. That's not a reason you start a business. You don't start a business to get your friends and family money. You understand me? And people don't know how to really think about business in a non-emotional sense. So product is everything because without a product, you have nothing to funnel the people to. You don't give them a way to support you. And when you have multiple products, you hit different demographics, right? And then you have some products that's easier for people to buy into. I've had crowns probably for maybe five years. There's people that's been following me for, for years and probably never bought a crown. The moment I say I got consultations, they buying one and they're going to spend more money than the crown. They probably never got a consultation. They might not want one-on-one. -on -one. So, but then as soon as I put out a master class with a group, they buy in. They might not want the master class with the group. I put out the gold water, they bought a few. They might not want the gold water. Maybe they want to see me in person. I throw an event, they there. I'm not trying to complain about why you're not supporting this product. Let me make something else for you to support. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's the word, people. I hope y'all catching that. Jeez, man. It's just, bro, I just really, man, 2019, I just want people to get free, man, get woke and realize that they literally got got it in them to make it happen, man. Like, when I made it up in my mind that it had to work where it had to work, keys, that's when the, the doors open, right? right? Most people who end up, like, quitting, firing their balls, going all in on their goals and dreams, and I'm not telling people to go quit or fire their balls. But I can assure you, once you give yourself, give up plan B, plan A has to work. Like mm. your dream is going to work. You're going to make more money working for yourself. You're going to do, you're going to have your time free. So many more incredible things are going to happen because you're betting on yourself and you are literally eliminating anything. It's like this, right? Imagine going to the circus and you got the, you got the darn, the net under you as you're walking over the tightrope. Mm -hmm. You want to just walk out there aimlessly. Why? Because you know if you fall, you have someone there to pick you up. But right. If you, if you had no net under you, you're going to be walking with focus. This business right. got to work. This right. got to work. This right. idea got to work. Because right. you're literally like, yo, if I fall, I'm dead. So right. so many of you guys who can really be crushing it, but you're not because you're playing it safe. You're right. playing it too safe. Man, mediocrity is... You know, um, what's the, how the quote go? Uh, man, the most traveled path is uh, something about the most traveled path, the most often traveled path is that one to mediocrity. Yeah. I think about it like, you know, 
what, what else is you going to do with life besides produce thoughts? Mm. And I get excited about ideas that I have. Most people not excited, Neil. When you, when you have to be excited about something to actually have the energy to execute it. The ideas that you're really excited about, it comes, you come up with every solution to any problem that gets in your way. Mm. The ideas that you're not that excited about, you come up with every complaint so that you have a million problems in your way so you never execute. So for me, I think people also have to think about who are you and what do you like and what actually excites me. And if you can figure out how to get into a field that's exciting for you, right, then those are going to be the ones that you're going to stick with forever. I know all of the individuals that I work with that have had great grand ideas. They're always talking about their ideas in conversation. You understand me? They wake up the first morning and the first thing in the rising, what can I do in order to complete this goal? Everybody that you're talking about, you're feeding them your ideas because you're keeping yourself excited about it consistently, the same as if when you first started the idea. Mm. But a lot of people have it. As soon as it comes to the execution, the excitement level dies down because people love things more in their imagination than they do in their reality. Mm. So for me, I like to bring things out of my imagination and live it within reality. I, don't, mm. I, couldn't, I couldn't be the type of person at this particular stage in life that has to have a dependency on someone else's managing my life. And to be an entrepreneur, you have to be a great manager of your life. You have to manage your time. You have to manage your energy. You have to manage your health, your ideas. You have to manage the people around you so that they don't kill your ideas as well by communicating negativity into your genius. Mm, geez. Woo. Here's another thing. Just to piggyback on what you said, Keys, it's called speed of execution. When you get an idea, you need to act so fast on the guys because you want to share it with somebody they're going to tell you it's stupid. You're going to share it with somebody else they're going to tell you it's not a good idea. execute that's what we call speed of execution because when you do this your momentum is going to pick up why are these people billionaires never stop because they got momentum running through their veins they're like what is next right out of you will never get to the what is next moment because you haven't taken massive imperfect action factories you know um back to content man you know content is a transaction for attention and what you utilize attention for is up to you. But attention is, you know, um, your ability to be able to convert, you know, and you can convert it and monetize it and you convert it in capital. A good idea is worthless without capital. You're not going without resources, mm. without funding. So a lot of people don't understand that these things have to be mashed up and you have to be intentional in your design towards how you want to create your life. And so if you wake up tomorrow, and uh, let's say you have a, a business, you have whatever it may be. I want everybody to test their audience. I want everybody to test their social media. You know, you 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 gonna you got to create engagement so you know who the hell your actual customers is and who your audience is. So a lot of times, if you put out a post and you ask a particular question to your audience, it's so that you can gain insights. And so the same way, if you go on social media in the back of your page and you have a business page, it's gonna show you who's your demographic, is it women, children, what state, what city, those are called insights. What you do with those insights is you take those for better decision making so that you can improve the design of your business. A lot of people have great ideas but terrible execution. They yeah. always asking me keys, can you uh can I DM or can I send you a shirt or can you post this up? And most of the time they don't need me to post it and they definitely don't need me to wear it. They need me to give them a consultation on how to create a better design. <laughs> you know, oftentimes the execution lacks great aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like the stuff that you put out is very professional. You make sure that your content has a particular look because you're trying to engage people on a particular level. So how can you have high knowledge? How can you have a great idea, but the execution, the funnel that you actually put your idea through is terrible. You don't build a Bugatti uh, of, uh, uh, on the interior and then put it on a Toyota frame. Mm. Yes, on the, the inside of it is great, but the way it looks is terrible. The reason that Apple is a trillion dollar company is because they have better design than most of the other products that's out there. So when a person engages with it, then they have a better experience.
Mm. So a lot of you all need to change the way you design your business so that you actually have a better experience. Your customers and your clients have a better experience because we live in the experience economy, which is building business models based off empathy. And that's understanding how other people feel because you want to connect people with an emotion. Mm. Mm -mm. Jeez. That's why they call that boy 19 Keys. I don't, man. I hope y'all paying attention, people. Yo, when next time you in Philly, bro? Uh, Really soon, though, man. I want to do an event in August, man. Yeah, just let me know, bro. Shoot me a text and all that stuff with the dates. Uh, I will, man. We're going to do a business, branding, uh, marketing, some something crazy, man. We're going to do something amazing. Yeah. Uh, I can't save this, Isabella, because it's on Key's account. So if Key's save it and send it to me, I'll get it to you. Um, it's crazy this... that I can't even see the comments on my own line, and you, you can't. You can't see the comments, bro? Hell no. Nah. Gotcha. Everybody drop one thing that you learned tonight from me and Key's, guys. I'm about to get out of here in a minute, but uh, I just wanted to make sure I see my guy go live. We never – we didn't get a chance to build in a while, but – Guys, man, please, man, make 2019 the absolute best year of your life by betting on you. Like, here's the thing, man. A lot of people, Keys, this is crazy, Keys. A lot of people think risky is trying. They think, mm. I'm sorry, Keys. A lot of people think trying is risky, Keys. Mm. But wait until they get the bill for not trying. <laughs> right. It's way more expensive. Oh, my gosh, man. Keys, listen <laughs> to me. Discipline weighs ounces. Regret weighs tons. Yeah. There's so many people got, like, the richest place in the world, Keys, is the graveyard. There's so many Backwards. people take their goals and dreams there. There's so many billion-dollar ideas in the graveyard right now, million-dollar ideas in the graveyard. Stuck in the head of procrastinators. Yeah. Here's the other thing, Keys. There's someone on this live right here, five to ten people right now on this live, who had an idea right now that they thought of. That they could have thought of the Snuggie, the Pet Rock. They could have thought of something, but they didn't do it. And now they seeing someone else make a million or a billion dollars because right. of their inability to bet on themselves or believe that they could actually make it come true. And 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 that's the difference between you know uh, I could tell many people my ideas, but I know that they're not going to execute it, so I'm not worried about it. You know, you can tell the world a great idea, but you know that 99% of people ain't going to do shit with it, mm. and that's why. You know, people put out so much content, so much information, and so much knowledge, but we know we're just fishing to get to those sharks. You understand mm. me? We fishing to actually get to the executors. Mm. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people who can watch the game, but not everybody can play the game. And that's the difference. Mm. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap up myself, get out of here, uh, let Keys continue to drop his keys. But, bro, thanks for – uh. Let me hop on the live, guys. Y'all keep Bro, I appreciate your presence, man. Follow my guy if you are following me and don't follow him. That is 19 underscore keys, my family. And uh, guys, stay in touch with me. Shoot me a message, man. Peace. All right, keys. All right. Peace and blessings.